In the mid-1970s the motorcycle industry was in a period of transition. Because of noise and pollution, large two-strokes were being banned from the streets in many countries and there was no such thing as a true four-stroke sport bike. There were sporting four-strokes, of course, but they were, for the most part, derivatives of regular motorcycles and those that came from Japan were, regardless of manufacturer, almost all the same. Built around an inline four-cylinder air-cooled engine wrapped in a steel double cradle frame they were so similar, in fact, that they became known as the Universal Japanese Motorcycle, UJM. Seeing the writing on the wall, Suzuki, which had made its reputation by building two strokes, built its first large four-stroke bikes, see Suzuki GS series, the Doc GS 750 and the GS 400, for the American market in 1976. The GS 550 arrived soon after and by 1978 the formidable GS 1000 was making jaws drop in showrooms everywhere. 1980 saw the introduction of the 16-valve dock engine. It also witnessed the creation of the then extremely radical and influential Suzuki Katana, a bike which stylistically resembles a modern sport bike on the outside, but which was largely underpinned by existing technology of the day, although Suzuki were very quick to adopt the dock 16-valve cylinder head with their GSX-1100 range, including the Katana, in 1980.